Lesson 5.1, Properties of Parallelograms. Uh, we've been working on triangles, and we take it up one more to go to quadrilaterals. Uh, we actually jump to parallelograms, which we'll talk about in a minute. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Parallelograms have opposite sides parallel. And that's both sides. So that's the definition. So if you were to draw it, it would look something like that. Now, I'm going to be fairly brief in this lesson because You'll know everything you need to know after this little section. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. And I will let you figure out why. So you should pause this and make sure you know why, because if you don't, then you're really not ready to move on to this unit. Now, since that's the case, 2, 2. Alternate interior angles. A reflexive side. And then angle side angle, we know that angle B is congruent angle D. We know that if we've drawn the line this way, angle A would be congruent to angle C. BC is congruent to AD. And all of these are simply CPCTC. Once you prove angle side angle, all of them are the same. I'll probably give this on a quiz as uh, a proof. And then say prove all the properties of a parallelogram by CPCTC. So opposite sides, see above. And that's by CPCTC. Opposite angles, see above. And again by CPCTC. And then ever so slightly trickier. The diagonals cut each other in half. So you have to draw them all in. And we want to prove that these are congruent. Not all four together, but each side. And I think we can do that because we just proved these are congruent. We know these by AIA. We know these by AIA. Heck, we even know these if we wanted by vertical angles. So we could go angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. And once we know that, this piece matches up with this piece, and this piece matches up with this piece. So diagonals bisect each other. Cut each other in half. I would like you to try these, 1 through 14.
need to do them in class, that's fine. But we're going to move along relatively quickly. I think you guys can handle these without too much of a problem. You're looking at problems like if this is 6 and it's a parallelogram, then this is 6. If this is 30 degrees and it's a parallelogram, then this is 30 degrees. All you have to know is the properties. They're not that hard to figure out. Remember that 180 degrees make a triangle. Remember that bisect means cut each other in half. No problems. We'll review this tomorrow, but make sure you give these problems a try. Good luck.